It was one of those rare, exceptionally rare days that I found myself in church, sitting on the front row. What is the purpose of life? The preacher asked. Heads turned to look at each other. No one spoke as if they were all afraid. Afraid to give a wrong answer. Afraid to make fools of themselves. The question buzzed and ricocheted in my mind like a dazzled bee that has just sacrificed its life, tearing its insides by leaving them on a sting embedded on its victim. I shifted from my seat, oblivious of the people on either side of me, as if to ease the pain of a sting that's embedded on my backside. Coping with what life throws at you, that is the purpose of life. I heard myself shout, heads turned to look at me. I looked down, cursing myself for having spoken. At that moment, the preacher smiled, stepped forward from his pulpit, nodding his head. Coping with what life throws at you is very good. What is evil, then, is being unable to cope, he said, looking up at the roof of the church, as if calling the Messiah to come down and witness what he had said was nothing but the whole truth. I was born to save God. My service to God is comparable to a worker bee industriously saving the queen bee. A worker bee would selflessly sacrifice its life to the queen who is the origin of all life in the colony. The very mention of bees brought a chill running down my spine, igniting my mind to explode into the terrible nightmare of last night. The terrible nightmare that had brought me to church for the first time in 20 years. This same dream had occurred to me twice. I knew it would not be the last. It is often said that something that happens twice will definitely happen the third time. In the dream, I was attacked by a swarm of bees. These were not just ordinary bees. If you killed one, within seconds, two came alive from the corpse of the bee just killed. It all started when my friend Mike and I went camping out in the countryside. We propped up mosquito nets instead of tents. Heaven knows why. Out of nowhere at daybreak, a swarm of bees surrounded our camp. We ran straight into the cover and protection of my mosquito net, which was the nearest and lucky enough was still propped. We sat inside, shocked at the ferocity of the bees, trying to push their way inside to attack us. We covered every gap in the mosquito net, ensuring none of those bees got in. But one got in. Eyes darted around the net. I was horrified when the bee landed on my forehead. I remained still. This was no ordinary bee. I knew how dangerous it was. A single sting would instantly paralyze its victim. The bee crawled towards my eyelid. With a quick flick of my hand, I slid the bee, killing it instantly. Within seconds of killing this bee, I pushed the remains of the bee outside the net, instantly covering the gap. Through the net, we watched, horrified, as the dead bee metamorphosed, two bees hatching out of its corpse. The swarm continued to hover menacingly around the net. Minutes later, more and more bees started settling on the mosquito net, blackening it and putting us into complete darkness. The buzzing noise rose higher and higher, piercing the ears. At that instant, the net started swaying side to side with the sheer weight of the bees sitting on it. That was the point. Mike 
went down on his knees and prayed, begging God to save us. I pleaded with Mike to watch the net from his side, but Mike ignored me and continued praying. I struggled all on my own to keep the net from falling and exposing us to the bees. But then the worst thing happened. The nets toppled over. The bees swarmed Mike, paralyzing him on the spot. I felt the swarm settle on my head uh, like a crown. Then all of a sudden, I was encrusted, totally covered by the swarm. I panicked. I wanted to run for dear life. But to my shock, I, too, was paralyzed. I felt thousands of stings rummaging through my flesh. Then I felt calm. Death whispering softly to me. Relax. Shh. Relax. Shh. Die peacefully. As I died in my dream, I found myself totally immersed in bliss. I transcended from the world we know into the world of the unknown, a world of vast silence and darkness. When I awoke, dazzled and confused, I wanted that inner peace I had felt in my dream to hold it, sway with it, caress it, and immerse my whole being into it. What has life been throwing at you? A warm hand touched my shoulder as I left church. I turned around and was face to face with the preacher. I had a dream about bees, Father. This dream has come to me twice so far, I said. Tell me about it. I have all the time in the world. And so I poured all the contents of my dream to him. When I finished, the holy man smiled. I will let you into a secret, my son. Those were no ordinary bees, and that was no ordinary dream. The bees all worked together to achieve one goal, to remove your spirit from the traps of this world, to make you see and feel God in that darkness, that void you talked about. You saw all that a man will be. I saw death and I cherished it when it came. Ah, you are now enlightened. Death is not your enemy. Death is simply the stripping away of things that are not you. You have accepted the secret to living a life of purpose, he said and left. That moment was no ordinary moment for it changed my life. I felt the burden of being a prisoner to my mind being lifted the mind itself turning into a tunnel of peace. From my no ordinary moment, I began to metamorphose myself. Just like those no ordinary bees, I would bring light and love into my life by not aspiring to win or to lose, but keeping busy as a bee, coping with the acceptance of me as I walk the path of my destiny.